In this video for How to Play The Walking Dead All Out War, we're looking at what happens when you have multiple survivors and walkers involved in melee combat and have to split up the combat accordingly. We'll show you a number of examples to help you when you're playing the game at home. Here you can see that Patrick has moved into base to base with Carl, which means during the melee phase they'll have to either fight or defend. Rick decides that he's going to help his son, which means that Rick and Carl will combine their dice when fighting against Patrick, so this is a fairly easy multiple combat situation. Now things are about to get a little bit more complicated. On Liam's activation, he decides to make a noise, which brings the closest walker six inches towards him. In this case, it's this one here, which means the walker is now in base to base with Carl. During the melee phase, Carl must now split off to fight the walker while Rick fights Patrick. Now we're going to make things even more complicated by adding an extra walker to the mix. During the event phase we draw the card the hunger and because we're at low threat it means that each player moves one eligible walker towards the nearest survivor. In this case the player using Patrick decides to move this walker into base to base with Rick. This means that during the melee phase you've got to decide which survivors are going to split off to fight each other. Carl must fight this walker here no matter what. However Patrick can choose whether he wants to fight Rick or whether he wants to fight Carl. In this case he's going to fight Carl which means that Rick is left to fight the other walker on his own. In the final example, we're going to add another walker to the melee combat. With the hunger card, it means that each player gets to move one walker. We've already moved one into base to base with Rick, but now the other player decides to move the other walker into base to base with Patrick, which means it gets a bit more complicated when it comes to splitting combat. Every survivor must be involved in melee, so none of them can just run away. So in this situation, you end up with three separate fights. Carl must fight this walker, Rick must fight this walker, and Patrick is left to fight this walker. Once you get used to splitting up combat, it becomes a breeze, and you'll be doing it in no time when playing at home.